Hey all, welcome back to the DB Outdoors channel, guys. Today I've got the Bear White Tail 2 out again. Okay. And uh, I I made a change to the Bear White Tail 2. I changed out the air arrest. This is a whisker biscuit. It was on the Bear Ramp, but since I can't shoot the Bear Ramp, I took it off and I put it on here. Now, as you guys know, if you guys have been watching this series and following along with me, that I've tried flipper style rests on here, okay? And uh, I had the one that's in this picture right here, okay? And then yesterday I was shooting, but I didn't film it, and I put this Cobra rest on here, which the shooting got a little better. But as you guys can tell, within about 20 shots, that this rubber piece that I took off an Allen flipper rest started to wear out. So I was like, what the heck? Let's uh, put a whisker biscuit on here. And I got it all lined up really good. And then I was like, let me try out these uh, Moosin 500 uh, Chinese Carboneros here. And I'm actually grouping on the target, which is awesome. So another thing is I'm shooting this with my release. So yeah, guys, I'm going to show you guys how well this bow can actually shoot. So guys, let's shoot the 1986 Bear Whitetail 2. All right, y'all. So it is a little windy out here. I want to apologize for that. Um, so if the wind noise is horrible, I'm sorry. So here we go. First shot. First shot. Here's the second shot. And here is the third shot. Go check these out guys. And sorry this was so dark. It's been raining on and off today. It was really warm this morning and then it got really uh chilly but here's my first round shot not the greatest now i'm really going to try to take my time and put the pin where i need it but they look better all right guys so it's definitely chilly out here the temperature dropped from this morning it was nice and warm this morning but we're at a different angle here because the camera lighting is better um, now let's try to group in the center of that target now Second shot. Third shot. I'm excited to show you guys this group right here. Those are awesome looking. I finally got groups. I'm so happy. This is awesome, look at this. Wow, that's cool. Right, so the way I have this whisker biscuit set, as you guys can tell, I pretty much got it maxed out all the way over that I can go. But it's actually in line with the string. Okay, and here's a better looking angle of what I'm talking about. You see that right there? It's in line with the string. But at the same time, I'm also shooting a carbon arrow with a really short fletching. So I'm not getting any fletching clearance issues, which is good too. So guys, I'm starting to get a little cold with this wind, so we're gonna do one more shooting group, and then go inside, and that'll be the shooting video for today. All right, y'all, so here's the uh, last round shots. I'm extremely happy that I'm finally getting progress with this bow.
first shot. Let's go check out these shots, guys. Will you guys check these shots out right here? <laughs> yes. Finally. Oh man, to begin with the last couple videos I was hating this bow. Not anymore. That's awesome. Wow. Alright, y'all. Oh there it goes. Okay, right here. Alright guys, so this is awesome. The bow's finally shooting where I want it to. I got it figured out, dialed in. Uh, whatever you want to say I love the whisker biscuit I'm gonna say if you're having some tuning issues maybe you want to try a whisker biscuit it's not hard to adjust and tune and all that stuff and wow I'm shooting groups today with that bow which is awesome so guys this has been the shooting video hope you all enjoyed it I'm extremely happy and uh, who knows I may actually take this bow hunting if I can get it broadhead tuned now um, before with those other air arrests, I was hitting all over the place and I wouldn't take it hunting at all. You know, I would have just used it as a backyard target bow. So y'all remember, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.